You can get Colorado to force a game seven at plus 120. I have a feeling up to this point how you guys are feeling, but is that too tempting not to take? Go ahead, Jeff. <laughs> it's definitely too tempting not to take. I mean, this is this is ridiculous. Five days ago, if you had asked us, do we want Colorado on plus 118, we would have all rushed our bank accounts, you know, just gone to the window, whatever. We would have laid it all down. I mean, this is ridiculous. The five days, this is still the Colorado Avalanche. Nate McKinnon is still the the, the best player, uh, you know, in this series. I, I could go on and on. I mean, um, I'll take them in a one game one game matchup here versus Vegas. Look, we've seen this in the playoffs a lot. Teams go on runs, they go through dips. I think the Colorado Avalanche are still the better team here overall. And again, seeing them lose four games in a row to Vegas, I mean, nobody would have even thought that was possible. I think we've shifted too far. Uh, in the odds here at, at plus 118. I think at, at the very least, this one should be a, a coin flip. So I think you're getting extremely good value on the Avalanche. Are they going to be at, at, at home or on the road, excuse me, in, in a Vegas madhouse? Yes, but you know, Vegas is the one who's, who's got to win four games in a row here. Uh, there, there's There's got to be at least like a little bit of burnout uh, just in terms of the adrenaline that's running through this team. I think Colorado gets it done tonight and I actually think they win the series. Paul, how do you feel about the value here? I feel like Jeff's uh, wrong here. Sorry, Jeff, buddy. But uh, it's been four <laughs> games in a row that the Avalanche has been the second best team on the ice. That's not a fluke anymore. And we haven't talked about the reason why. It's the fact that the second line of the Avs has gone missing. They look like a one-line team right now. And that's that's the fact. And until they show that they got more than one unit, Nate McKinnon can play 30 minutes tonight. It might not make a difference. That's how badly they've been outplayed throughout this stretch and I see no reason to back them because of that if they looked uh, a second best team as I said I believe the momentum is clear, squarely on the Knights and they've convinced themselves that they are the better team right now and I believe that.